YouTube's not so slim Jim here doing a little gun video today. I have my uh, little fun Glock 20 10 millimeter here, and I wanted to kind of play around with some different uh, carry ammo and see what it can do. So I made some homemade ballistic gel, which we'll show here in a minute. A little bit firmer. I'd say it's probably about 20 25 percent. So we're going to be trying out the Hornady Custom 10 millimeter 155 grain XTP. The Hornady Critical Duty 10mm 175 grain flex lock, the PMC 10mm 170 grain uh, hollow point, and just for fun, I'm sorry I don't have the box, the RIP round. Yeah, a little $2 round bastard. Going to go ahead and give those a try. Um, <laughs> the, uh, the ballistics gel shrunk up a little bit more than I wanted to in the fridge last night, so it's a little narrow, so my shot placement might suck excuse me i'm going to try my best so we're going to go ahead and uh shoot this gel and see what it does go all right we're going to start off with the uh hornady custom defense the uh, 155 grain xtp hopefully i hit the uh, targets a little small so we'll see what i can do all right let's go ahead and take a look Well, it looks like the round went ahead and went all the way through, exited out here on the back. It's got a pretty good sized cavity, and if you see from the side, which we'll cut it open when we're done, but it looks like it has a nice temporary wound cavity all the way through. As you can tell, it widens here and then spirals through. Next up is the uh, Critical Duty 10 millimeter 175 grain flex lock. Okay, we actually have the round got caught here, which, ooh, went ahead and uh, mushroomed up pretty damn good, so. It did what it's supposed to, put a nice dent in the uh, wood behind it, definitely penetrated the whole amount, and looks like we have a decent cavity, once again we'll cut through and we're all done. Here we go, you can kill it. Two, let me when you're ready. Good. All right, I am low on that first shot, so I'm going to try again with a little higher with the PMC 170 grain jacket at hollow point. There we go. Nice solid hit. Okay, as you can see, see, came in, exited, has a nice wound jacket, as you can see up top here. Skinny's out. Ah, hot round, hot round, and it opened up, flowered just like it was supposed to. Looks like it may have tumbled before it hit the 2x4, but so far it's uh, doing the same as the other two rounds. Alright, now let's try out the 10mm uh, RIP round. some damage well um as you can tell it uh well it just blew the hell out of it we have a barb came all the way this way we have a barb came out here um i can stick my finger into the wound cavity because a round came in all the way there and then went all the way up the back and then this is all that's left of the uh, the round after all the petals came off. Let's see if we can flip this guy over and see if any came out the bottom. Yep, rounds came out here. Hold on a sec. Piece of two by four got stuck. You can see one of the petals right there. So this round is, hold on a sec. Got another one right there. 
Ooh, yeah, this this is a this is a oh shit. Another one. Well, I'm not gonna lie, this RIP round, <laughs> that takes the cake. Not only did it penetrate all the way through the entire length of the Blissix gel like the other rounds, these little barbs definitely did their job. It, they're two bucks a round, but of all the ones, that definitely took the cake. So let's go ahead and uh, cut here and we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and cut this guy open. All right, you have the first round. You can see where the energy transferred through the bottom. You want to come over this way? Where it split the ballistics gelatin, which this is pretty thick stuff. So you can see the wound cavity. Now, I didn't cut this. It actually did it itself. So the wound cavity was pretty good before it traveled the rest of the way through. The second round, which was the flex lock, Let's go ahead and cut in here a little bit. You can see the spiraling right there where it started ripping apart the material. So it held its form a little better coming through than the jacketed hollow point before it started ripping. So it, it did a good job. As you can tell, it, uh, it held better form. And it was a little bit smaller. It didn't open up as wide. So it didn't do quite as much damage, but it had better penetration. Then the third round up here on top. Oh, let's move this big beast over. Let's go over this way. You can see with the sun, the temporary wound cavity, how it spiraled through and went all the way across. You can see all that temporary wound right there. So it definitely did a damn good job of cutting through. Then the RIP, of course, just devastated. So of all the rounds, both the Hornadies did a good job. Honestly, the critical defense, I think the standard uh, jacketed hollow point did a better job than the critical defense did. So I would save the money, yeah, um, and just get the one without the flex lock. The PMC also did a great job. Um, it deformed a little bit more, obviously quite a bit wider. It uh, created a better uh, temporary cavity and also penetrated all the way through. But of course, the winner is the RIP round. So as usual, this is Not So Slim Jim. If you got any questions, comments, concern, leave it in the comment section.